Tonight on 44 News at 10, a 44 News exclusive investigation. A secret proposal uncovered in the city of Madisonville. Could the city take over ambulance services? 44 News has obtained documents showing that Mayor Kevin Cotton may want ambulance services in Madisonville to change hands. Now we've been digging into this. Our 44 News reporter Josh Myers is going to break down what it could mean for the city and for taxpayers. In a letter to Hopkins County's independent, nonprofit ambulance service provider, Medical Center Ambulance Service, Madisonville Mayor Kevin Cotton made several proposals, including one to take over the emergency service, folding the vital first responders into the city government. In a later correspondence, the mayor says that Madisonville firefighters have waited 20 minutes or more for Medical Center Ambulance Services to arrive on hundreds of medical calls in the past year and a half. 44 News provided the mayor's letter to a member of the Madison Madisonville City Council for his views on the proposal. I had a recent friend that passed away during that situation. Seconds feel like minutes and sometimes those minutes feel like hours. Medical Center Ambulance Service declined to provide 44 News with figures for their response times and Mayor Cotton also says he does not have access to the organization's response times. For a city government with no experience running an ambulance service, the proposal presents a number of issues. The concerns would be the medical billing part of it, the logistical side of it, and then the staffing. We asked the experts. Number one learning curve would be the billing. That would be the main challenge. It's not unheard of for local governments to take over ambulance services. Just south of Madisonville, here in Hopkinsville, that is the case. And they say it allows them to get the best tech out there. The ambulance service is managed by the fire department, an arrangement that gives the city control over the quality of equipment and training. All the revenue that we bring in goes right back into our service. We're able to purchase power load systems, cardiac machines, Lucas devices, and video laryngoscopes, all top of line equipment. And none of that expense falls on the taxpayer. Hopkinsville EMS operates 100% off of revenue from the use of its services. And according to a study by Fair Health, the city's ambulance fees are below the national average. We're a 100% revenue-based service, um, basically a nonprofit. So all the money that we make off of our, our operations stays within the fire department. Rogers says having firefighters and paramedics under one roof allows for cross-training, improved coordination in high-pressure emergencies, and response times under four minutes within the city. Our, our firemen know how our ambulances are set up. Uh, they work with our ambulance personnel day in, day out. So in times of, of chaos and crisis, our folks work really, really well together. Hopkinsville's fire department-run ambulance service is one possibility for Madisonville, but city officials are waiting for more information before throwing their support behind the mayor's proposal. Right now, I am completely in the middle of the road on this situation. We want to look at the numbers, we want to look at patient care, but then also look at what are the advantages of um, taking in the ambulance service um, and what's the cost of it? 44 News reached out to Mayor Kevin Cotton about his proposal, but he declined to do an on-camera interview. In Madisonville, Josh Myers, 44 News.